CNN News Now. Hello, I'm Natalie Allen. Spain says Catalonia's bid for independence is over. A government spokesman says if dismissed, Catalan President Carlos Puigdemont wants to continue in politics. If he does, he should prepare for the next election. By calling a fresh vote, Madrid says it's allowing Catalan's voices to be heard in a legal and free way. That's a quote. U.S. President Donald Trump is again pledging to release all the files concerning the assassination of President John Kennedy. Saturday afternoon, he repeated a tweet from Friday that said that. Later on Saturday, he tweeted the JFK files are released. But at last check, no new files have been made public. Iraqi Kurds are deciding whether to accept conditions discussed during a ceasefire with Baghdad. Iraq wants Kurds to withdraw from disputed areas and to allow the deployment of government forces into those areas. Iraq reclaimed territory and oil fields in and around Kirkuk after Kurds voted for independence in the contested referendum. At least 19 people have been killed in Somalia after two car bombs went off near the presidential palace. The terror group Al-Shabaab claims responsibility. The attack happened two weeks after at least 277 people were killed in the deadliest car bombings in Somalia's modern history. That is CNN News Now. For more news and analysis, here's Aaron Burnett out front.